Hello everyone and welcome back to One Man Stream. In today's tutorial we are going to create a baseball starting lineup graphic and I'll go ahead and show you what that graphic is going to look like. And there's a lot of information on this graphic uh, that you can customize. Up here at the top where it says starting lineup versus mail, you can change the background color there. And then on these alternating uh, rectangle blocks here that are red, uh, you can change the color of those as well. If you don't want to use the uh, picture of the player over here on the right hand side, you can, sh you can shut that off. And it's actually a pretty straightforward graphic. And we're going to have this and so much more for you on today's episode of One Man Stream. So to start off with, as we always do, we're going to start off in GT Title Designer. And this is what the entire project looks like in GT Title Designer. To begin with, we're going to close off a lot of this information until we need it. So let's go ahead and start clicking these eyeballs over here to the right. And you can see as those eyeballs get grayed out that that information is also grayed out as well. So let's turn off layer five. Let's turn off layer four, layer two, layer three. And that's going to lead us leave us with uh, just layer one. So the first thing that we're going to focus on is right here, and it's this main black rectangle, and that's this bordering rectangle right here. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to go up here and we're going to click on rectangle, and then we're just going to drag us out one that we think is going to be the appropriate size. And uh, let's go ahead and drag it over here since we have that other element that we know is going to come over when we set the animation in, in motion. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to home and we're going to go to fill color and we're going to make it black. So that's how we made this original rectangle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this bar right here on the outside. And as I said in the opening, this bar here along with these colored rectangles, uh, you can change the color on those and I'll show you how we do that. So let's go ahead and make this outside bar. So I'm going to click on the rectangle button here going to make us a bar and one little trick that I like to do is I'll click on the rectangle and go to format and I'll see that this one's a height of 954 and I'm going to go ahead and make the bar the same height so they match so we'll make this 954 as well click enter and um, it looks a little bit thick so what we'll do is we'll take it down a little bit and that looks pretty good right there so we're going to leave it at 11 then we're going to click on where it says rectangle 2 and we're going to use our arrow keys to find adjust it and put it exactly where we want it and right there looks pretty good one thing we want to make sure that we do here so that we can change the color of this is we want to go to data and then we want to uncheck this button here where it says hidden. We want to make sure it's visible. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on show visible toggle in case in the future I want to turn this element off. So that's how we did that. Now on these other rectangles here, let's click on this one. This is player two color rectangle. So we're going to go over here, click on rectangle, pull it out. I would probably name this one uh, Red Rectangle 1. And in order to get the rest of these rectangles, I need one, two, three, four, five of them in all. I'm going to click on this rectangle, copy and paste. And then I'm going to click on the menu bar and then use my arrow. And that's about where the next line would be. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit further to about right there. Then I'm going to right click and copy, right click and paste bring this down right click copy right click paste you can see where rectangle 5 turns to rectangle 6 and we'll go ahead and bring that one down and we need to do this one more time so we're going to right click copy right click paste and then we're going to bring this one down uh, the next thing we're going to do is up here on the starting lineup so we're going to come up here to the ABC text block. We're going to click on that and then we're going to draw us out a pretty good sized text block. And the font that I used was Impact. So let's go back to that. And we're just going to double click in here. We're going to change the fill color on the text to white. 
and then we're going to type in starting lineup. I'm going to highlight that text, then I'm going to center it in the middle left to right and in the middle up and down. And let's make the font size a little bit bigger. We'll make it 60 is not quite big enough. 72 looks pretty good. And I might have to adjust the line spacing just a little bit. But if I do that, uh, that adjustment is right here. If you click on this, you can change the line spacing. See how it makes those lines move apart a little bit. So if I have to come back to that, I will. And so that's how we put in the starting lineup. The next little bit of information we're going to put in is, is this verse mail. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the rectangle. And that's about the size that I made it. And we also want to be able to change the color of this and turn this off and on if we want to. So we're going to click on data. We're going to uncheck hidden and we're going to click show visible toggle. To put this text in here, as you already guessed, we're going to click on the ABC box. We're going to come over here. We are going to format that text to be in the middle left to right and in the middle up and down. Then we're going to double click on it and we're going to change it to verse mail. And we're going to use the same impact font. We're going to have to make it a little bit smaller, but we're going to use that same font. And we're going to make it white. So come over here to fill color and click on white. And then let's come over here and we're going to take the size down a little bit. And that looks pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make these two um, images right here. And for that, we're going to click over here. Actually, we're going to hover over it first where it says image. We're going to click on it and we're going to bring us in a couple images. Let's go to downloads. So we're going to switch this up. We're going to use a couple different ones, but we're going to click on this one right here and click open. Then we're going to drag it over here. Let's make it 70 by 70. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to click menu bar for the image one more time. Then we're going to go to our arrow keys and we're going to position it right there. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to right click and copy and right click and paste and it changes to image two. I'm going to click on the menu bar and then bring image two over and we'll put it right there. So you can see this is image one and that's image two. To bring uh, the text in for verse, we're going to go back up here to the ABC. We're going to click on that. Then we're going to bring us in a text box. We're going to click on the fill color, change it to white, center it in the middle left to right, in the middle up and down. Once again, change our font to impact. And that's how we did that next little bit of information. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the date, time, and field. So again, we're going to come over here, click on the ABC, bring us a text box, change the fill color to white, double click in here, and we're going to type Sunday, April 28th, space, put in the bar, and then 4 p.m. And we can see right away that we're going to have to change this font size. So let's go ahead and take it down to 28. And then we're going to change it to impact. Center it in the middle left to right, in the middle up and down. And that's how we did the date and time. Now we're going to do the field name. We're going to do the same thing. Go to ABC, drag us out a box, change the fill color again to white. And we're going to just, for demo purposes, we're going to call this Davidson Field. And again, we're going to center it in the middle left to right, in the middle up and down, and change our font once again to impact. And let's bring it up a little bit. It looks like it's spaced a little too far. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I like that a lot better. So we're going to stay with that. And then the last thing, we have a sponsor logo that we can bring in right here. So let's click on the image again. See if I can find the sponsor logo. We'll click right here, click OK. And let's go ahead and shrink this down into something that we can utilize. 
and we'll click on image three and we'll place it about right there. Well, that's everything that we did for that first layer. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and turned on the information over here on the left hand side just to give us a perspective of what that information is going to look like and I'll set it in motion one more time. And you can see how the first line comes in first and then there's a little bit of a delay on each of the other lines as they come in. And then at the very end, it reveals from left to right and it brings in this player image right here. So the next part we're going to do is we're going to bring in these names. So the first thing is we're going to come over here to ABC and we're going to make us a little block. And then we're going to change the color to white. And we're, once again, we're going to center it in the middle left to right, in the middle up and down. And we're going to change the font to impact. And let's take the font size down to 28. I'm going to click on the menu bar. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. And that's going to be player one number. So we're going to come back over here to ABC again. We're going to draw us out a text box. And we're just going to entitle this player one, change the font color or the fill color to white. Oops, player one, not exclamation point. Change the font to impact. Center it in the middle left to right, in the middle up and down. And we're going to take the font size again down to 28. Okay, now on the position right here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this, right click and copy, right click and paste. And then you saw where text block seven turned to text block eight. And we're going to go ahead and scoot this over here. And then I'm going to double click in the middle. And we're going to change that to left field. And that's how we did player one. Now, for all the rest of these, all I did was I copy and I pasted. And I'm just going to show you how I did a couple of these. I'm not going to do them all. So I'm going to copy, paste, bring it down. I'm going to click in here and change it to number nine. I'm going to copy this and paste it. You saw where text block seven turned to text block 10. Position this, we're gonna call this player two. We're gonna do the same thing for text block eight, copy and paste turns to text block 11. Bring that down, change this to third base and I'll do one more. Text block nine, copy and paste. We'll bring that down. Change the number to 99. Player 2, copy, paste. It turns from text block 10 to 13. Bring this down. And we'll click in here. Call this player 3. And then let's go ahead and bring this position. Text block 11 turn to 14. We're going to bring that down and we're going to change this one to DH. Now let's look at the animation. You can see where this comes in first and then there's a little bit of delay on the other ones. Well what I did is I actually did this by layers and doing it by layers it makes it easier for me. Let's go over here to the original. So we're going to go over here to player one and I'm going to click on this and let's go up here under animations and you can see that there is a 1.1 second delay and then you can see the duration is 0.5. Well the reason there's a 1.1 1, uh, 1 .1 second delay is it takes this whole first part over here one second to play out and this, this layer right here and you can see that there's a reveal but we have a 1.1 second delay and then it plays out over 0.5 seconds. Let's go to player 2 you can see we have a little bit longer delay, which is 1.3. Let's go to player three. A little bit longer delay, 1.3. So when I set this in motion, you can see that play out. For our image to play out, which is right here, you can see that we have, let's make it a little bit longer. Let's make it 2.1 second. 
we're going to have a 2.1 second delay and it's going to play out uh, coming in moving left to right I didn't show you how to add those elements and I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do that now for the player image over here we're going to click on the image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it down some bring it all the way over here okay we're going to come over here to format and we can see that it's 392 by 946 392 946 so what I'm going to do for just a moment I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn that image off and what I'm going to do so that it'll fit in this spot just the way that I want it I'm going to create an image mask so we're going to come over here and we're going to make a rectangle we're going to bring it out about right here let's go ahead and nudge it over a little bit and that looks pretty good what we're going to do is we're going to remember that this is rectangle 9 and under effects we're going to take the opacity all the way down to 1. so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the image we're going to click on it click the drop down list and we're looking for rectangle 9 which is right here and we click on it and you saw what happened only the portion that was inside that rectangle is now being shown so if I click on the image now I'm using the keys to find adjust it and you can see that it's staying inside that that box only the part that's inside that image mask is going to be displayed and it's not the exact same size but you can see that it's that it's fairly close and then we would have to put a delay on this as well and as I showed you just a moment ago uh, that was a little over a two second delay and then we had it revealing itself from left to right so that's going to conclude our tutorial for today where we created a starting lineup and then we added some animation to it at the end as you saw it was fairly straightforward one of the things I talked about at the very beginning was how you can change these colors uh, in these rectangle blocks here as long and as well as this uh, vertical divider right here and that's the topic for another tutorial in our next tutorial I'll show you how to bring data into this graphic as well as changing uh, the colors in these elements. This has been One Man Stream episode 98, and it was entitled Baseball Lineup Graphic. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And if you get a moment, please stop by our website. That's onemanstream.com. That's where we have our graphics store and more. We have many of the graphics that we created during this tutorial series, along with many of the vMix UTC controllers as well. Thank you so much.